Okay. Um, you know, it's been great. I mean, whenever you're working with great guys like that, it's always great for you to learn from them and improve. Um, I'm just trying to do my best to do whatever I can to be the best teammate I can be, be accountable, be coachable, and be able to be a great teammate. You know, some super physical stuff yesterday in two minutes. Maybe that was the first time you were up there with uh, against Harold, against DeMarcus. How much juice do you feel like you are bring out of the game? Yeah, that was my first time, you know, going up against them. Uh, well, in two minutes, but um, I got to bring juice every single play. It doesn't matter whether if I'm with the ones, the twos, the threes. Whenever you're on the field, you're, you're a starter. That's what I learned from Ohio State. That's the mindset here. It doesn't matter when you get on the field, you're a starter. Did you get any feedback uh, on the on the one rep against Harold two days ago? With the, you had a big punch. I'm sure you know the play I'm talking about in pass pro. Um, yeah, we watched the film. I had a good I had a good set. Um, the main thing I've been working on is staying square. You know, uh, making sure I play with a lot of length. Um, those are things that we teach here. So I did my I did my technique correctly and it paid off. So I got to keep doing that. You talked about your hands when when you arrived and, and your punch. Maybe at your feet or. Rated well, your hands not so much. How much progress have you made since you got here with your back? A lot. I mean, that's something that um, Coach Rabel and Coach Carter have talked about, that we need to have great violence in our punches. That's what we teach here. So that's something that I can't I, – I don't just work on that on the field. I work on that off the field as well, in the weight room as well. So hopefully that's been paying off. Hopefully that's been showing, and I can keep improving on it. Can you give us an example of the kind of things you do that inside the payoff outside? Um, we have a difference drill. So that's something that we do um, at Ohio State as well. It's kind of We call it the difference. It's a pad that we do – it kind of has like, and we just go into it and we whack on our strikes and punches, and um, it shows us how good our hand speed is, speed and accuracy. So that's what I've been doing inside and outside. Same thing, working on hand punches, speed, speed and accuracy of it, making sure I get to my landmarks, things like that. How much different you feel maybe now compared to even going back to the camp as far as technique and comfortability? I feel better. I mean, like I like I've said before, um, and what we said here on the team is about getting as many reps as you can, as many competitive reps as you can, because that's when you build great habits and that's when you become a better player. Uh, yeah, I guess so. We're working down in the red zone, trying to, trying to get uh, our runs in. It's going to be tight and physical. Um, just got to make sure we finish. Uh, so you saw a little bit of that today. Had a nice finish in the back of the end zone. How'd that feel? And how, how do you feel you're you know, getting in sync with Tannehill, I guess? Uh, feeling good. Just rep after rep. Uh, just take it as practice. Um, had another one we could work on and talk on after. But it's just practice. Keep, keep getting our uh, communication down, keep being an open target for him, and uh, he's going to throw the ball, so might as well just go out and get it. You guys looking forward to the first preseason game, or is it just just part of training camp? What, how, how do you view this week coming up knowing this game coming up? Just getting better. I think going to the game, thinking of it as our, our first challenge. Everybody should go in and try to get in that, that game mode, treat it like a game, study your opponent, and uh, obviously go in there and try to win the game and uh, sometimes make a name for yourself. It's, is it important that you mentioned win the game? Is it important to, to win preseason games? A lot of people say, you know, the results don't really matter, but Baltimore won like what, like 20 some in a row in preseason? Yeah, I mean, it's a game. It's uh, you got to win it. Um, obviously, you do your job. Everybody doing their assignments. Everybody making plays. We have the guys to be able to execute. So if they go in there and do their assignments, uh, we should win the game. I know that you weren't here last year, but uh, you know, Ryan had some issues with some batted passes, some interceptions. Seems like he's been particularly accurate for most of this camp. Is that kind of what you've been saying? Yeah, I'll say he's throwing the ball really, really well, um, giving his receivers a chance every single time. Uh, really, I, I like what I see um, so far from Ryan. Yeah, I think it was a chance to branch out. I'm from Maryland. I lived my whole life in Maryland, so you know, I didn't want the first time that I first time I was in the NFL to be the first time that I was away from home. So that was, I mean, that was a big deal. And um, you know, being new to a team, I'm new here. Like, no one really knows knows you and no one really cares about what you did before because it's kind of like what you do here. So it was a little test run. And I, had, I had a ton of fun. I loved it down there. So you've been the new guy now for like two straight years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, you know, it's a good deal. It's, it's fun because, it, yeah, you get to wipe the slate clean. You know, you get to go build a first impression. And, um, like, there's stress with that, obviously, because you want guys to know how much you care and how much it means to you. But it's also fun. It's an opportunity. You know, it's never a bad deal. Are you excited with the game on the horizon this week? Looking to show anything out there to the coaches? Yeah, I'm excited. I think it's you know it's your first NFL game, so yeah. you, know, you think about it from when you're little, you get pretty jazzed up about it. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's kind of I don't want to understate that how how lucky I am for that. I'm sorry. What did you say? Rookie class is making a pretty good impression collectively. Yeah, I think um, it's one of those things that you just try to do your best, put your head down, and try not to pay too much attention to the outside stuff. You know, because it's 
it's a what have you done lately business. And so you could have a good day one day and the next day if you come out and try to, you know, sit on that, it's not really a good recipe. Huge. Uh, just it's helpful. I feel like, you know, having that chemistry that's already kind of been built up um, and still earning some more trust with that. You know, I, I think I've said it before to the media, you know, like confidence is built from repeated achievements. So the more good plays we make together, the more chemistry and trust there is. For me personally, yeah, like I, I just got to understand like, you know, my role right now is to define it. Like or my, my goal right now is to define that role on this team. And I feel like that's kind of the consensus within the receiver room and, and throughout the team is guys understand the, the weight of what's coming up and the pressure. Um, but being able to handle that and embrace that challenge that's coming up. Robert was saying that, you know, it's, it's important to win these preseason yeah. games just because, you know, you're competing, they're keeping score, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's a game. And so, like, the way you treat, you know, any game is kind of how you're going to approach the regular season, you know, whether it's inside the locker room, you know, playing basketball in the little hoops, like, that's still competing. Like, you still got to try to win everything. And I feel like that's the mentality you got to have to be able to, you know, go after a championship is you got to be able to win or think that you're going to win every single game no matter what it is. Today, one of the more physical practices so far in yeah, I mean, I feel like every day is, you know, I feel like that's how our brand of football is physical and, you know, a lot of effort and just playing fast and physical. So, you know, full pads, I feel like definitely, you know, it's a lot more physical, you know, out here in the heat, getting better. I love it.